Hello everybody, the drafter here and welcome back to another tutorial in my Sky Factory 2 survival series. This is episode number 5 and we need power. Yes, because we finally want to achieve automatic sieving, but to do that we need power. Now a little note, off camera I did all this, uh, the crucible and uh, still melting cobblestone and a vanilla vanilla um, cobblestone generator. I did it off camera because this is all stuff that I did in my previous season of Sky Factory tutorials so I will link it here with an annotation right now and you can see it in the in, in, in one of my previous videos because it didn't it's not changed it's not different from from last season so it's no point in doing another tutorial on that but let's go let's go straight away to the topic of today and that's power now what are we using to generate power now last season I used the uh, lava lava generation and uh, thermal expansion um, magma uh, magmatic dynamo now in this season I want to do something different um, especially because uh, bacon donut added a few mods to the mod pack one of them is solar flux and we're gonna use solar panel let me show you over here solar flux this is all the items from solar Pla solar flux you have solar panels different tiers up to six wow and the mirror the core i haven't found any you haven't find any information about that what are they used for so i'll have to investigate more and this is photovoltaic cell that are needed to upgrade the normal solar panel but since we are very early in the game, we are gonna use the solar. We are gonna make the solar panel one tier one. Uh, it's a bit of a grind for today's episode uh, in order to prepare today's episode. But I, I assure you, it's worth it. It's totally worth it because we will automate very soon saving like that. Ha! So solar panel. What do we need? Uh, we are gonna make four, and that's the recipe for the solar panel. We need some redstone few planks and something above here which is the mirror so every uh, every three glass and one in iron ingot you get two mirrors so we're gonna get 12 we're gonna put in them here and we're gonna get our four solar panel now to um, to store the energy in last in the last season I used thermal expansion batteries the um, leadstone, uh, leadstone for instance, uh, energy cell. Uh, this season I want to change, I want to use Ender IO, another mod, very very cool, just to see something new, uh, so we are not doing the same things. Uh, the first, the very basic one is called a basic capacitor bank, there you go, there it is. That's the recipe, that's a bit of a grind, uh, because you need basic capacitors, and yeah, we're gonna make only two of those. Uh, you see the, the statistics. Multi block energy storage can charge RF powered items. Shift click on a face with an empty hand to change information display. And this will store 1 million RF, so it's plenty. Uh, with this recipe, we're gonna make the capacitors and we need nine of those. Well, eight are for the, uh, for the capacitor bank itself and one is for the next item. I forgot to say the solar flux uh, solar panels they produce RF of course it's kind of a standard uh, unity of measure for power but yeah next is the alloys melter that will get us started for the um, for the for the next uh, material we were, we're gonna use for the automatic sieving and hammering but that's for another episode for the next one so let's start for the machine uh, chassis that is needed to make the uh, there we go alloy smelter you can look at the recipe in my videos and in NAI let me show quickly alloy smelter uh, that's the recipe, so three furnaces, one cauldron, Minecraft vanilla cauldron, four ingots, and whoops, and the chassis is four iron bars, four iron ingots, and the other basic capacitor that we saw previously, just a minute ago. Let's grab the alloy smelter, and let's go over here. Now we're going here for a very good reason, 
over very close to the cobblestone generator because I want to yeah you will see next episode <laughs> no spoilers so let's put down the capacitor bank now this is a modular structure as said now if you press shift it will give you all sorts of information very very cool uh, so you can put two next to each other and you can see it doubled the amount of uh, the statistics let's say so when we can now store 2 million RF the maximum input output is 2000 RF per tick max input max output 2000 2000 of course and as the uh, tooltip says shift right click to change I hope you can see it to on a face to change the information that um, that the capacitor bank is giving you so this is input output how much energy is receiving or uh, yeah sending out uh, this is just an indicator uh, a red bar will fill up here when you put energy now about the now uh, this will be a bit tricky let's put them the sonar panel above the capacitor bank and as you can see it's already starting to store energy uh, it's very clever because uh, you can put them um, next to each other they don't need to be for instance those two here they don't need to be connected to the capacitor bank because those two are already connected and perfect as you see we are getting plus four uh, plus 12 we should be because we put four uh, oh I forgot to show you solar panel the information about the solar panel it generates two RF per tick and can transfer 16 RF per tick. It also has an internal capacity uh, storage of 50,000 RF. But yeah, since we are smart, <laughs> we made the capacitor bank. And as you see, it's filling up nicely. Uh, nonetheless, these solar panels are working only, only during the day. And if nothing is covering them, let me show you that very quickly. So let's cover them with cobblestone. As you can see, the RF is going down to zero because uh, yeah, they don't have direct access to sunlight. Let's take back our precious cobblestone. Well, precious not for long because gonna have a lot of cobblestone soon uh, without without grinding it. So happy days. Um, next in the agenda is the alloy smelter. Let's put it next to the capacitor bank and as you can see it's already filling up. It has uh, an internal storage of 1000 RF and be careful because if you remove it with your pickaxe you will lose all the energy also. The same applies for the capacitor. No, the capacitor bank should keep it. Uh, let's, uh, let's, let's try it. Why not? Come back, come back to me. Let's shift. This is this says uh, zero RF. Yeah. What about this one? Yeah, I lost. Ah no, the energy went all here. So mm, we never know. We will never know. <laughs> uh, okay, alloy smelter internal capacity. You can configure it. Uh, redstone active with signal, active without signal, or never active. Let's put it to never active for now and. You can see all the recipes over here. Uh, we are gonna see. We are gonna look at the recipes next episode because we will have to craft. We'll have to smelt the new, uh, new, um, new metals. And uh, furnace mode all smelting. It means that whatever you put, it will smelt. Alloys only. It will. It will smelt just the alloys. Furnace only. It will just work as a regular furnace. Let's put it all smelting for now. And the configuration. Configuration is very cool. The screen is new, brand new. Uh, you can see the surrounding, what blocks are connected to it. And you can configure it with the right mouse button. So it can pull items from this side, the top side, into here. So if you have some kind of sorting system or system to put uh, items in here, or push. So from the top side, it will push the product of the alloy smelter or push pull both at the same time or disabled but i think we're gonna see this more in detail in next episode this is configured the same you can yeah this is the indication of the storage 
uh, this is input and output text field and these are uh, i believe um what's called enhancement upgrades to the capacitor bank but i will have to investigate that input not um, not active never active with redstone without redstone usual stuff and it has the same nice and cool screen to configure it but for now for the moment we can keep it like this um, because yeah we will not need it uh, straight away and uh, that's that's all for today guys it was a short kind of a short episode but I need to prepare these things in order to start with the next one with the automatic sieving and hammering stay tuned guys it will be very interesting and uh, yeah we're gonna use also the um, vanilla cobblestone generator you will see mm -hmm, surprise uh, to do that so everything automated and um, uh, don't forget to check my other videos to subscribe to my channel if you like this video and other videos of minecraft it keeps me motivated and keeps you updated with my videos also leave me a comment and a like on this video if you liked it uh, i wish you a very good day and i see you and i will see you next time <laughs> ciao ciao